All right. Hey everyone, Jojo here. So we are heading, we have to get the bus to go get our passport photos. We were going to do it this morning, but it turned out to just be too hot and we got a little bit of a fight, which worked out because it was too hot to go. So we're going to go to the Walgreens down by um, Planet Hollywood because that one does passport photos, I called. Um, they said the one closer does not. There was one um, like across from Park MGM. They don't do the passport photos. So we wanted to go down the strip since we're going to be leaving. You know, there's not a ton of more times we're going to get to go to the strip. I mean, we'll probably go quite a few times, you know, um, in the next couple of months. But I don't know how many times we'll document it like this, you know. Um, take a, a, a right there, Jerry Rich. So um, we're going to go catch the bus. Uh, it's at 7.36, the bus stop. The bus comes. Sorry. Uh, I think I just a bong. Yeah, it's still warm. What time? What? It's still 100 degrees, it says. This is our pool that we can't use. Oh, wait, yeah, closed for the season. It was actually the coolest pool, except for it was a little bit cold. Oh, Richard, did you remember a mask? I have one for you. I have one for you, don't worry. Okay, but do you want to go? Yeah. I'll run up and get it. You wait here. Okay. I'll go get it. I'll go. I'll go run up there if you want. I'll go run up there. Actually, why don't you say hi and I'll go run Okay, thanks. Do you mind? Okay, this is what usually happens. I forget something. Jedi Joy runs and gets it. So, day in the life. So, okay. Uh, day in the life, it's uh, Saturday, July 25th, 1900 hours and 14 minutes. Year is 2020. We're doing a video for Ridley Scott and Kevin McDonald's got some sort of crowdsourcing uh, art project they're working on. And so, we are doing our contribution. Hi guys, so I went and got the mask, and so um, I, let, I made sure we left oh. early because Jedi Rich always forget something <laughs> so I always am like I always am like trying to get us out of the house earlier because uh, I always know that then so this is the way to the bus stop so the thing about um, Vegas that's very different than Panama is um, it everything is very spread apart so we're gonna be going to Panama and everything is really close so that was so in Panama, we walked everywhere, but like things are like super close. And so when we first got here, we realized you need, we thought you need a car right away. And we got one um, when we first got here. But then now we figured out how to do it without a car, but I wouldn't say it's easy. It's a lot of walking. The buses take forever. So we even have to do two buses to get down to the strip. So we're on Las Vegas Boulevard, but we still have to take two buses to get to the strip. And we're not even that far. I mean, we're down here by South Point. But the buses are great in the sense of they're they're nice, they're um, they're clean, the drivers are friendly, but uh, they just take a long time because it's so spread out here. It just takes a long time to get around here. Unless you're flying around in a car speeding like most people do, but if you're following the rules. It, some of these lights here are insane in Vegas. We've sat at lights forever. Man, I've gotten so mad at the Uber drivers when they miss the light or something after we've sat through like 10 lights. You're like, what the hell? And they're not paying attention. I almost went off of one the other day, Jeverich. I didn't tell you. What happened? So, um, he, he went the wrong way, you know, as they do. But I was, this is the time when I had to get there before the guy had to leave for the flight. And it was just a nightmare. I'd had that Uber, I had an Uber. Okay, I waited 30 minutes for an Uber to show up. That canceled in front of my face. He went through, to the wrong entrance. So I said, oh, I'm over here at the center. I texted him. So then he comes over here, drives past me and cancels. I'm like waving at him because you know, you can see the car. And I didn't realize he had canceled. And then I look at my phone and it's like, the driver canceled. I'm like, what the? So then I had to wait another 20 minutes for another driver to come. So I almost missed his client because he had to go to the airport and um, catch his flight. And then the guy went the wrong way. 
And then, he, not him, it wasn't the Uber driver's fault, but the person in front of the Uber driver was not, go we waited at this light that I swear was a 10 or 15 minute long light on the strip, some of them. And then the person in front of the Uber driver would not go when the light went green. And I almost lost it, because I was just like, I was so pent up. <laughs> I was so pent up, because I was gonna be late and not get the, that, when the person in front of the Uber driver didn't go, I'm like, why'd you fucking go? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, yelling at the Uber. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry to the driver. Because I wasn't mad at the driver, I was mad at the person. Again, I was like, oh, you're fucking kidding me. I'm like yelling, at, I'm like, honk at that guy, honk at that guy. <laughs> it was a mess. Anyways, I, I made it. Okay, so the bus is across the street. So, Jerry Rich, we got room across the street here. So we'll first just run to the middle. We'll run just to the middle first, okay? Okay, you ready? Here we go. Just to the middle. Just to the middle. Just here. Because there's a car coming. One more car, then we'll go. This guy's flying. Okay, let's go. Oh, car. Come on. And um, technically that's illegal jaywalking, but they did not make this a place where there is crosswalks. They are so far. So the cops, I've literally jaywalked in front of cops here because I don't think they bother. It's ridiculous. They can't expect you to walk all the way to the other spot. The crosswalks are all the way that way, like a whole block that way, and a whole block that way when you want your bus stop right here. There's no way. Explain how far a block is there here. A block out here is freaking huge. I mean, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> how far is it, Jared? What would you say? A mile, maybe? No, eight miles. <laughs> eight miles. <laughs> but it's pretty far. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but it's far and there's no way so I've actually ran in front of cops here because I try to make sure there's a cop but I've done it before but I think they don't bother because everyone does because for one thing this is uh, where people live here at these suites and everyone takes this bus on both directions so people cross and there's a liquor store across the street so people staying here go to the liquor store and go to the bus so it's just constant jaywalkers here they need a crosswalk right here I don't know why there's one right here look Right there. Why isn't there where they have these cars that go across? A crosswalk. Right there. That would help a lot. They cannot expect people to walk all the way to that light over there. Or all the way to that light over there. Those are the only crosswalks. You know the one all the way over there? Or all the way over there? Really? All the way over there. Do you see the light? The, sh the street light, the red street light. They want me to walk there. That's where the crosswalk is. Or the one over there that's green. That one with the green one. Those are the only crosswalks over here. So they want me to walk all the way over there to then come all the way back to the bus stop. That ain't gonna happen. No one's gonna do that. So what happens is you have constant jaywalkers and even the cops don't bother here, but I don't know why they don't just put a crosswalk. That would help. I see the old people flying in their um, in their little walkers. That's the funniest thing. There's this old couple that comes. They got their little their little a wheelchair yeah. hover out. They go flying across here, jaywalking in their uh, wheelchairs. They're uh, they're jaywalking in their wheelchairs, but they go across the street. I'm like, man, you gotta have balls crossing the street in your wheelchair because you're kind of a sitting duck if it, something happens because these are those electronic ones if they don't go like they get stuck in the middle of the street as cars are flying around them I'm like man <laughs> that's very trusting <laughs> a little bit of things cracks me up so here's our bus stop right so here. here's our bus stop how often does this bus come? Uh, I think every 30 minutes every 30 minutes? yeah 30 minutes so yeah, 30 because it was at 701 and then yeah, so if you 30 have to get work somewhere. 
You missed your bus. That's a bummer. You really late. Yeah, the thing, that's what I was saying. The bus is not the most efficient. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, what does that say? We, uh, they, that bar says something about Syslake. So, so further notice, notice something about Syslak. I want to see. Due to Syslak, we are closed. Until, they said due to Syslak. We are like people are getting pissed. Like they didn't say like the governor or anything. That's that was another one. They that, didn't like, say oh sorry. It's a no, it's just due to Syslak. They hate Syslak. That? that is the um, Putters, Putters Bar and Grill. It says due to Syslak, we are closed until further notice. That's terrible. That's crazy. Um, pretty soon we'll have to put our masks on. Let's okay, let's put it. our masks on. Let's get that okay. on here. Let's oh. get that ready. So yeah, so we're just documenting a day in the life of a Jedi here. It's very similar. I don't usually come with Jedi Joy when she goes on the bus. I have before. But it's like, man, she walks so fast and then... Yeah, I actually like go... And then she down. says that when I come along, I basically, I'm the, I'm the weak link in the chain. I, I slow everything down. Oh, it's but it's more just because he enjoys the the art and scenery along the way, and I just kind of go and get things done. Well, actually, I, I can't keep up with her. It's the honest truth. I, I can't yeah, walk but, that but, fast. But you also are more about enjoying the scenery. And yeah, stuff. I do that too. But you know, you I don't can know. wait a second. If Bus. Ride the bus now. <laughs> so we have to take this and we have to get one more bus. Um, it takes two to get down to the strip. It takes two. <laughs> it takes I feel like it's upside down. No, that's all right. Why is everything so small for me? You, could, you go either way. You can wear that either way. I have way, a big mouth. Yeah. You could probably go the other way. It might go the other it's way. Like yeah, actually it might be the other way. Yeah. Do it turn the other way. I did that, I guess. There they go. That might be the right one. Oh, that's the same. This thing sucks. I like the old one better. The only other one I have on fire. No, no. I have the old black one if you want. I'm going to buy one on Amazon. That's better. Oh, that's much better. Okay, then yeah, you had it on backwards. Okay. Thank you. So here we go. Ooh, now we wait for the next bus, which is the deuce. Um, there's a key cow over there. Oh, here comes the bus. Oh, a bunch of them, just like Panama. Hi, kitties. Just like Panama. All the straight kitties. Hi, kitty bear. Look at all of them. Just like Panama. Straight kitties. At the golf course. Oh, this is just like Panama. Oh, here comes the... Hi, sweeties. Hi, beautifuls. You guys are the cutest. Here comes our bus. Let's try and see if we can get this seat upstairs. They're not available. Do you want it? Just do it. Okay. Where do you think it'd be best? It's probably this side. Huh? So you could. Hold on. Or it's it here, Richard. Richard, right here. Richard. Oh yeah, okay. I'll see that. There you go. Perfect. Do you want me to hold that? And you can hold the this I'll hold it steadier than you. Hey, get up there. Do you want to see it there? Get up there. 
okay, so now we're gonna film the strip going on. Oh, so we're going down the Las Vegas strip now. Unfortunately, right now, the strip is so quiet because so many of the casinos are closed. Um, the Manly Bay just opened, right? But there's just like no activity. Um, but right now we're passing the executive airport here. We used to see like tons of huge planes coming in, like the Learjets and stuff, you know? Get on. Um, Um, but now there's like no one there. It's just like super empty. <laughs> yeah, here we go. See, this used to be where they have all these celebrities who come in. Remember that? Yeah, it used to be just full. Like no parking for planes. Now there's only a couple. Yeah, they used to, there used to be like a pink one we'd see a lot of times. We thought maybe it was, oh, here's Las Vegas sign. So we're passing the Las Vegas sign here. Very sparse. But at least there's some people. It's so funny seeing everyone with their masks. But people still want to get their photo with the Las Vegas sign. There's all. Oh. So this is actually a really nice evening. So this is awesome that we got to get on the deuce. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Actually, it's, I'm so glad we're here. It's a beautiful night. I hope you guys are enjoying checking out this trip as much as we are because it's actually really, really beautiful. So, this might be one of our last times we go down the strip like this because we're going to be leaving, you know, in the next couple months. And it's actually very rare that you get on the deuce and go down like this, you know. Um, yeah, especially as a local, but even like with us, we don't have a car, but it's just usually the going down on the deuce will take so long, but now what, since the shutdown, it's pretty quick. You just kind of fly down the street. It used to be like stop and go. It would take like, remember it would take a couple hours to get down the strip mm. with the deuce. <laughs> because it, it was just solid cars. Look at the, look at this like, oh, that's the, Wait, no, never mind. I thought that was the other thing. No, that's coming up. So here's Mandalay Bay. We love Mandalay Bay. Very sad to see what happened there. <laughs> I remember this little laughing jackalope. We took photos there. So being in the little casino, we took photos there a long time ago. That's how some of these other ones on the strip are gonna look pretty soon. So Tropicana's for sale. We just heard today, right, Jared? Mm -hmm. Tropicana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard. Yeah, and then um, I heard Excalibur is probably not coming back. I heard uh, they might get rid of Luxor too, right? Weren't they talking that? Um, I think they're. I think they opened Mandalay Bay right now, but it's been just so empty. So we'll just see what happens. Oh, there's Mandalay Bay. We got really. Ups we went to the cave right after the Mandalay Bay um, tragedy. That really, really disturbed us. It was. Um, and a lot of people here just didn't really seem to be that affected. Like they, you know, did the Vegas Strong for a while, but then it was like, don't talk about it again, you know? After after the Vegas Strong thing was done, they didn't want to hear about it anymore. <coughs> so this is the site of the tragedy right there where the, where those black, where the black gate is. What's there now? It's gonna be a parking lot. It was supposed to be for the Raiders Stadium parking lot. The Raiders are going to use it? The Raiders, uh, the fans are supposed to park there for the stadium. So that's where all that was, they shot from mm -hmm. that window. Yeah, from over here. We actually have photos of that when they... Oh, yeah, from the windows over yeah, there. Yeah, from the windows. How many people were... Uh, 50, 58 people were killed, but like it was like 700 people were shot at or something, you know? 700 people got injured? Yeah, like, well, something like that. But um, 
58 actually died. But yeah, I think it was like 700 that were at, you know, some injuries and things or something. Yeah, 2017. And here's the Luxor, which has been sad ever since. It's it actually happened right in front of the Luxor. The guy was at Medley Bay, but this is the site is actually right in front of the Luxor, right here. We're stopping in front of it right now. That's it right there. That's the site of the tragedy. It's very crazy. Right now they haven't done anything with it. They've just had it blocked off for two years now, three years now, three years now almost. Right? So now, um, they were doing this esports arena, you know, all these things, but I don't know what's going to happen now since the shutdown, how many of these things are going to survive, what's going to close. We went to the Blue Man Group, that should close. That was such a joke of a show. <laughs> what a waste of money. They're still charging like, they were charging like $100 still on that show or something, and it's not worth it. But, um, so hopefully maybe the some of the crappy stuff will they'll get rid of and keep the better stuff, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll have to watch from afar. We'll watch from afar. Maybe we'll come visit. So here's the Tropicana that they're talking about selling. Um, Excalibur, I don't know what's going on in there. That probably just is just gonna. Who knows? It looks like it's open now, but I don't know how long it's gonna stay open. <laughs> But hey, this strip looks a little busier right now, so this Sorry, is good. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is our stop. Do you want to go any further and come back? Whatever or... you feel, remember? Because I feel like... Yeah, go a little further down the strip. Yeah, let's do it. Scene. Yeah, this is good. Talk about it. We'll yeah. About it yeah. Okay. So now we're coming up on MGM. So actually, it, it's looking a little bit livelier. Look, it's Saturday night. This is good, look. We see some people out. That makes me happy. There's actually some people on this trip, which is nice. Because when we came down here uh, about a month ago, it was a ghost town down here. So I'm like happy to see, look at it. There's quite a few people. That's good, George, look at this. This is really good. I'm very happy to see that. So here's Ari over here. They are probably not going to open till, uh, like they were saying, maybe September 2021. So like a year from now. And I loved Aria, so that's very sad, but it's such a huge property that they can't afford to have it open right now. It's a M M Life MGM. They, it's their property, but that's one of their most expensive properties, so they just can't afford to have it open. It's too big. What about the other city center property? The Park um, and Gym and Yeah, Park and Gym, I don't know when that one's coming back. Actually, there's a um, YouTube blogger that he works there, and they keep telling him that he has, still has a job, but I don't know, it hasn't come back yet, so we'll see. And then Cosmo is open, so that's cool, but Cosmo is its own thing. Vidara, I don't believe, is open. Um, and I don't think, I don't think, I'm not sure about the new one, what, the one that used to be, uh, uh, what's it called, Richard? The one that used to be the Mandarin Oriental, which is now, what's that new name? Um, oh, the Waldorf Astoria. Waldorf I'm not sure if that one's open or not. I can't tell. It looks like that. Oh, it is. It looks like there's some people in there. Yeah, that one must be open. So that's cool. This is where we did our one sh a photo shoot of our when it first shut down. Yeah, that's true. Man, it actually looks very busy. Oh, there's some kind of protest going on. That's what's going on. There's a protest. Justice for... Jorge Gomez, who is that? Who's, there's a, someone else, there's a Jorge Gomez. I don't know who that is. And for George Floyd. Oh, this is good, good. Black Lives Matter, this is great. 
That's good, the people are protesting. So I saw, I don't know who Jorge Gomez is. That one's a new one to me. And then there's some people who had George Floyd signs. And then, um, what is this? What is this? I don't know what's going on here. Let's see. There's, I've never seen this before. There's some little games they have going on here. Little games and little art and stuff. That's fun. Wow. This is pretty cool. It's really lively tonight. This is really amazing, actually. It's nice to see all the people down here really enjoying themselves. I didn't expect to see so many people. I'm excited. Yeah, my passport, my passport. This is awesome. I had to log in, change my password. This is actually really cool seeing how many people are. What's up? Are you visiting? Yes. Where are you from? Louisiana. Hey, how are you? It's fun. Yeah. You want me on camera? Hey, turn around. Oh, easy. This is just a microphone. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Welcome. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's going great. What do you guys think of everything about the hotel? Have you seen it? The Luxor. Oh, okay. How is, like, are there actually, like, a lot of people there? Is it pretty? It's, I guess there's a lot of people. I don't know. It's, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but it's not like it don't seem like no one's there. No, it don't seem like no one's there. We're from here. We can't just keep moving. We're gonna be moving, but I hadn't known that it was so lively. So that's why we're excited to see that. Y'all moving in this area? No, we've been living here, but we're gonna be moving to Panama, the country. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, but we were living. We were living in Panama for a while, and we came here. But we hadn't been down to the strip, so we're happy to see that there's actually people down there. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know. Cause we all during the shutdown, you guys, it was like ghost town. Ghost town. So y'all yeah. getting all of this just so that people remind y'all of what? Yeah. Day in the life. Yeah. Oh yeah. Day in the life. Oh yeah. Also, we're doing it for YouTube. They're doing this whole thing a, a day in the life of okay. you know what you do for. So your... when I go on there, I'm gonna see myself. Yeah. I'm gonna be cutting up. <laughs> Jettyrich.com. Okay. <laughs> you gotta put every. Yeah. You gotta put all of them on there. Future people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Little bit yeah. more. Have you been to Vegas before? No, this is actually my first time. Okay, well, so, and you're having a great time. Yes, I okay. am. Were you guys planning on coming before the shutdown, or is it since, uh, like, the COVID? Mm, we just planned just because, so it was yeah. doing, it was doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it wasn't like you no. had a trip, and then all this yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, so you just, because uh, I'm worried about the people that, like, had a trip planned for years, and then okay. this happened, they're like, right. yeah. they never been. A lot of people came, oh, so. okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, or like even people like weddings that they were or bachelorette parties and things. Right, I'm like, yeah. man, what a different experience than normal. Oh, look, they got the fountains right. going. Have you guys seen the fountains yet? No, we're in the yeah. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll catch you later. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Look at the water's going. So this is cool. There's actually a lot of people tonight. Um, we got the water going right now as we speak. So they did a couple of new um, water shows. Remember we got those? Which it was they did the Frank Sinatra one, the um, Elvis one, and then I don't remember the third one. No, they did the Viva Las Vegas. So y'all moving because of the shutdown or y'all? Yeah, actually, yeah, that because it just Vegas is just so we love, different. We love, Vegas, we love it, but it's just it, you know, it's tough. And there's a lot of negativity. Huh? And his mother is Panamanian, so okay. that's why we're we're kind of gonna yeah, go that's where back. We were before we came. Out. Yeah, but we were gonna stay here, but then the shutdown has just made this place so weird. You know, it's just it's just tough. What was that? Panama, Panama. Panama. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the country. People always think we're talking about Florida. Yeah. <laughs> but none of the country, Panama. But um, we don't speak very much Spanish, so that's why it's a little weird for us. Yeah. We, but we did it before, but we're going to uh, try to take class. Yeah, we're going to take class. Because last time we were only there for a year, which we should have. I mean, we were pretty fluent when you get there, you know, it comes back to you, but. Yeah, we need to learn because I think it's rude when you don't know the language of the country you're in, you know? Yeah. <laughs>
Americans always want everyone to speak English, but I think that's so rude. I like to speak the language where I go, but it's hard. It's hard learning languages. <laughs> I don't know. If I try to learn Spanish in school and I failed it too. It's tough. She's like, that did not work out for me. I, know, I did like three years in school and I don't remember like like anything from school. Like school didn't help at all. All I'm is school. Yeah, it's different when you're actually like, merging in and trying to have full conversation. Yeah, this is great. This is actually. I guess it's Saturday, but. Yeah, it's looking pretty good tonight. Yeah, it's looking good. There's actually a little bit of a traffic jam that we haven't seen in a while. <laughs> Hey, it's is this playing Hollywood here? Yeah. Oh, this is Paris. Yeah, but yeah, Miracle Mile, and then there's Paris. Yeah, are you wanting to get off soon, or do you want to? Pretty soon. Okay. Because we could stay and then come yeah, back. Probably get off pretty soon, maybe. I wonder if this other. Do we didn't have to go to that one? This one might have it too. Yeah, okay, we could check it out. Yeah, this one, because I'm telling you, it's a pretty common thing. Yeah, the, we're getting, uh, we're, we're um, filming idea. us getting our passport. <laughs> well, that, well, That's what you do when you're here. <laughs> you just take something that would be really a pain in the ass to do and make it ten times harder. <laughs> by, by taking the bus and taking filming, the bus and filming it. it and everybody, you know. Well, we want to come down this trip. So but safe. you know what, though? Hey, you guys are nice. Sometimes people don't like to be filmed. I don't blame them. I love being on camera. Oh, oh that's, that's good. good. <laughs> that, that's all I need to know about you. See, because what kind of person hates being on camera? I know we have we have people get so mad like that. They'll be like, "Don't film me! Don't film me! You're not allowed to." Me, like if you're in public, you actually are allowed to be filmed. Yeah. Because you're just in public, but it people get so mad. Yeah, they got a problem with themselves. You know, that's what that is. Sometimes I don't even notice the person. I'm taking a picture of something. I'm like, "What are you?" Like, okay. Step aside. <laughs> <laughs> you're in Vegas, you know. You're, 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 but this is beautiful. This is just gorgeous. Oh, yeah, it looks like a lot of the casinos are open now. That's good. I didn't realize some of them had opened. So you want to go all the way to No, no, I don't think we're making that far tonight because we have to get our passport picture taken. I don't know how far you want to go though. How far do you want to go? Probably get off this stop. As soon as they lift the restrictions, yeah, and we save some money. Yeah. For two things. Well, probably in September. So September, yes. Yeah, end so of September. End of September. But they have to res lift the restrictions. They have some really strict ones in Panama right now. We're like. Girls and guys can't go out on the same night. They have like some weird curfew. We're like, what? yeah, we're like, girls can go out like on um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and guys can go on Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that. Some weird stuff. We're like, yeah, that's crazy. That's I know. Like, I don't know how you can function like that. So yeah. we're like, so we're not gonna go I well. See a guy. Yeah. So hopefully that ends soon with all this nonsense. But I don't know how long all this mask nonsense I, I and all this is going to be. Right about right after election. Yeah, true. Yeah, they're like, right after normal. They're like, what COVID? What are you talking about? COVID? I don't think we're going to hear it. I'll tell you what, the only thing we're. Oh, man. It's going to be shit show. Man, I'll be so mad on that night. Everyone's going to be mad. Yeah, no matter what way it goes, we're going to have people yeah. mad. Uh, we'll be in another country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all won't have to deal with it. Whether you guys know it or not, okay, here I go. <laughs> Whether you know it or not, y'all are in the midst of a, well, all in the midst of a civil war. Uh -huh. You've heard of civil yes, war. Yeah. That's happening yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. You see it? Mm -hmm. And it's divided around the same lines as the old one. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's always a, yeah. Same way. You got 33 states that are in violation of federal law. That right there is civil war. Right. Yeah. All the, this place right here, it's all making money from marijuana. The governor flies on a jet made from marijuana. I mean, it's all from illegal sale of drugs. Which is awesome. Which we are. Which is doing. great. <laughs> <laughs> well, we smoke well, weed yeah, every day. I mean, it just but... depends on which side of the drug war you're on. Right. Because what's happening is 
See, the drug war that they declared was really the side of the people. Because that's a war on people. Yeah, because... You don't make a war on your cousin because they're doing drugs. Right. You, know, you don't isolate them, and that's what they suggested we do. Now, you have it, 33 states there. Well, look around. Every, every day there's a protest. And they're burning police stations. <laughs> It's insane. Now, I don't think that's the best way to win a civil war today. But what they're going to do is it's all financial. Right. Mm -hmm. I can believe that. Like, I mean, you know. Because the people that own these casinos that are closed right now are all on the other side of the drug war. They're all Trump supporters. They're all the police supporters. But look, they're all closed. And they're losing millions of dollars a day. And not the people protesting, they're not losing any money. In fact, they're getting government checks. So, you see, the, see what I mean? It's a, it's a financial civil war. So look around, these places closed, it's like a... I don't think anybody planned it, it just kind of happened, you know what I mean? I think just society's machine. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I just feel like it repeats, everything repeats itself. Yeah. It's like everything is, is, is yeah, you know, it's a... Yeah, yeah, well, yeah history okay. repeats yeah, sure itself. Yeah. We don't learn lessons. Yeah. So that's well, why it repeats. Yeah, it repeats if you don't study. Right. But you see, the cool thing is, unlike any other generation before, we all have access to the same thing that people that graduate from Harvard have. Right. You can look up history on the internet. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you can see it. And so what's happening is people are saying, I've seen this before. Yeah. And these people are uprising. Mm -hmm. and, and the more they push down, the more they... Yes. Did you see two days ago the Department of Justice is investigating the Department of Justice? <laughs> well, now, if I ain't heard of a more messed up system, right. you, you need an oversight for the site that's supposed to be oversight? Yeah, okay. Now you got to, that right there, I think, is a definition of corruption. Mm -hmm. Right. It's the same with the police agencies when it's like internal affairs, but it's inside. So if the inside, you're not going to. You're not going to reprimand the same people that you work for and you guys work together. You're all going to look out for each other. So it's never going to go never anywhere gonna, else. It's you're never going to change. from the outside looking in. Right. So, yeah. And that's the hard thing to do because these people, I don't know. The thing is, we don't vote. We're not political. Like, I don't, I, I was raised that the government is the problem. Right. Not Democrats or not mm -hmm. Joe or Donald. Yeah. Those guys, I'm pretty sure, like off season, those guys are golfing together. Right. Am I right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Eat at the same table and everything. And I'm pretty sure this shut down, every of these problems go down. Those guys don't worry about rent. No. Nope. No, but we do. See, so you and I are closely related. Mm -hmm. and they, they are. Yeah. That's how I was raised. So yeah. I was raised, you don't trust no one. You just try to vote on the one you. You hate the least. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I really, guys, you're really gonna mess it up. I gotta vote for this. I gotta stop yeah. this. But in, in 1999, they figured out how to read elections, and you can see what's happened since then. It's not about history repeating. Why well, things aren't getting better, and they've just been on a general decline. The government. Until she hit the fan. Oh man, it's coming in. It. Who said that? Back here. Yeah, that, that's my favorite song. That was me. That was you. Okay. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Hits the fan. I don't know if anybody understands. Uh, that was a common phrase when I was growing up in the seventies. I don't think anyone here understands what that means. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? This, yeah. Louisiana, I'm sure shit hits the fan every freaking day there, right? Because yeah. I have friends from there. I'm with you. She hit the fan every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She hit the fan. Yeah. Yeah. From the sign to the Mississippi too. There's some places that just Yeah, well I'm gonna bum me up because you guys got on a bus with Jedi Rich. <laughs> okay, back to the show. Uh -huh, I guess so the link's open, I guess. So. Okay, so we got the link. Okay, so let's get off here. We're kind of all the way. What happens is when it gets a little too dark it's hard to film. Oh yeah, okay. But we'll look, Caesars is closed, it's so weird. Uh, no, Caesars is open. The Mirage is closed. But the Omnia, oh, the Omnia is closed. Is closed. Yeah. So that's that why so it dark. makes it look so dark, yeah. And yeah, Mirage is closed. Mirage is closed, yeah. I heard that one might not be coming back. Real Mirage? Oh, I love Mirage. That's a bummer. Well, I, well oh, excuse me. Uh, they'll probably sell it. That's what they mean. I think they sell it and then someone else. Yeah, it. someone else. But the Palms is done for a while. 
Hey, that one's not coming back for a minute. Okay, let me see. So I need to probably push a button for the next. You want to go? Oh, sorry. All right. Okay. Do we need to go downstairs now? Um, do you want to do next stop? Yeah. yeah, let's get off Planet Hollywood. Well, we missed that a while ago. Planet Hollywood back there. Okay, well, we'll come <laughs> out now then. <laughs> no, we wanted to go to this way. That was great. Yeah, that's good. That's what I did. But all I know is you guys have fun. Because yeah, you guys have fun. About having fun. Okay. Yeah, you, you guys can have the good seats here now. The front Maybe seats are the fun. I enjoy it, so. Go Raiders. Lip socks. <laughs> No, that was really good. I feel like I have I thought that was really good. Okay. I think they really liked you. I thought that was your best well, thing I th yet. I thought you were going to tell me that I, I talked about I thought that was the best one yet. It fixed my hair. <laughs> I thought that was your best one yet. Oh, it's okay. How's it looks? Is it all squared up now? Yeah, it's the good looks. Where's my square? Oh, I got my picture taken. I got my picture. Oh, yeah. That was fun. There's a lot of Walgreens, we'll just find one. There's a couple over this way. We'll see if they have what we need. Do you want me to keep rolling? Yeah, are we still rolling? Uh, yeah, are we pretty close where we are? Um, yeah, keep rolling. This has been going on for 31 minutes. Been great. That was good. Those, I know, I thought you did really good. Those ladies were, I think, enjoying themselves. I, I was actually, thought we could have kept going, but it's getting dark, so. But I think they were very much enjoying what you were talking about. I know. But it's funny because, oh my gosh, we pissed off those people in the beginning. They got so mad. Did you know that? They were saying all this shit. I just ignored them. They're like, so much for the six foot rule, because when we went to sit in the front, I knew they were going to leave if we kind of pushed like that, because we needed the front seat. And so I pushed them out of the way, basically. Yeah. And they were so mad. Oh, they were so mad. Well, I didn't know they were going to leave. I thought they were actually being nice at first, but after they left, I, I just ignored them because they were all, they were seeing all this stuff behind our backs. So that was funny. Look at it's actually busy right now. Man, I can't believe it. Cool. We're gonna get off next up. We're at come up on link here. This is the link. Is this our stop? Is it stopping? Is it stopping? Yeah. Oh, no. Are we just stopping again? No, I can't. No. So it's just stopping again. I can't tell where the stop is. I don't remember where the stop is. No, I think that went really well upstairs with the... Really? Yeah, I thought that was our best, like, interview, yeah. I think that's going to be really good footage of, of what... They were very fascinated with what you were saying. I thought. Like, I realized that there in Louisiana it could be trip support. Yeah, but we didn't say anything either way. Well, I said there's a civil war. Yeah, so we didn't say either way. We said we don't vote, so I don't, oh, I so I don't think they thought that in any way. That's awesome. Yeah. We literally said that, you actually said they're all the same. He said whether it be Trump or uh, Joe or Donald, so it just showed we're, 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 uh, we think they're all from, we just think all of the, um, current 
political candidates and prior political candidates and positions are all just corrupt. It's all corrupt. It is a really busy night here um, on this show. It's actually really, I'm really happy to see that. But we are still leaving. Okay, so it's the, I don't know where this stop is at. Well, when this stop comes up. But, um, so this is good to see though. We're actually in stop and go traffic here on the strip. We're actually stop and go traffic, Jared. So that's actually good news on the strip. It's been a long time since it's been this way. So I'm happy about that. That was good that there were some protests on this trip. Oh, I was happy to see that. Yeah. I, I didn't expect that. Oh, now there's bicyclists on this trip. There's a guy just riding his bicycle right down. <laughs> What was well, he was riding his bicycle right through the cars. I wish he would have got it. But I think now that they have a bicycle lane, they allow that a little more. But he was riding his bicycle through the cars. I don't think they allow that. But yeah, it's actually super busy. I don't know what's going on here. This is a busy Saturday night, I guess, finally. Some traffic on the strip, that's good. It's been a long time since there's been traffic on the strip. A few people walking around. Everyone's got their masks, but only some people are wearing them. <laughs> A lot of people got them on their chins. So we're trying to get off the bus here, but there's been stuff and good traffic, which is actually a good sign. Get off. I think this is our stop here. Hopefully, hopefully soon. This is our stop here. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. There was actually quite a bit of traffic on the strip. That's actually really good news. So we're gonna get off right here. I don't even know where we're at. How does it looks like? Cool. We got a new sign. Hara's got a new sign. Oh, that's nice. So Hara's got this new sign here. This is great. This is a brand new new sign. I think. Isn't that new that Hara's on? Yeah. Cool, that looks like, oh look at the moon! The moon is beautiful tonight. This is actually a beautiful evening in Las Vegas. <laughs> We're not gonna have too many more of these evenings. Oh, let's here turn around and get the get both of us too. Oh, I want to get this. Yeah. Walk over that way. Just kind of yeah. walk that way and come back and okay. see what you want to see. So we're not gonna have too many more of these nights in Las Vegas because we're moving. So I feel a little sad right now because it's actually a really really beautiful night and it's like the moon's out. 
It's actually nice. The weather is beautiful right now. It's hot, but like that perfect hot that's not too hot. Because um, during the day it's too hot. This is better. House rules wear a mask is what it says. House rules wear a mask. Vegas smile. Okay. I guess you gotta wear a mask all the time on this trip now, so. So we got our masks on so we don't get in trouble. Me and Jerry Rich are wearing our masks to abide by the rules on the strip because I guess you're supposed to wear it just walk around the strip. I think we're going to go this way and see if there's a Walgreens over here that does it. So We're going to head this way. What we need to do, there's a bunch of Walgreens, but only some of them do the passport photos. So we're going to try to see if this one does. So I think there's one. Okay. So, um, so we're passing Haro's here in the Mirage. We were just talking about on the bus. I guess they're going to sell that one. I love the Mirage. The Mirage is beautiful. So the Mirage was originally by Steve Wynn, who also did the Bellagio, and the Golden Nugget. And then, of course, Wynn and Encore. And um, Steve Wynn made Vegas. And his casinos are just some of the most beautiful. I mean, the Bellagio is oh, one of the most famous things on this trip, the, the fountain. And then um, the Mirage just has this beautiful atrium in there. Uh, Steve Wynn just always does really elaborate, beautiful things. And then um, Encore and um, Wynn have all kinds of cool things. And there's even a new water feature at uh, Wynn. And Wynn. Uh, Steve Wynn did that right before he got fired from his own company again. So the shareholders bought him out originally from Bellagio. And then once again, you know, he got kind of basically bought out of his company with this whole. Um, uh, uh, the whole thing where he had a Me Too incident, I guess. But he actually just sold his shares. But you guys, uh, I guess Diablo's Cantina is over here at. <laughs> That's good. I find out what this means. <laughs> Right there too, Diablo's Cantina. Diablo. It's awesome. Hey, this is actually really lively tonight. This is great. Whoa, look at how those like, trees look purple. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow, it's a really lively night. I'm really happy we came out here. It's really lively. There's a lot of people. I can't believe it. I like how the hearts makes all the trees purple. It looks really good. Yeah, it actually looks really cool. This is awesome. I can't believe how many people are out here. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's like a big penny. So glad we came out here. Walk in there, it's super hot. Yeah, this is awesome. I mean, there's just a lot of people. It's really cool to see how many people are on the ship and I'm really loving this Haro's purple trees because like their light is making all of the palm trees look purple which is super freaking cool and the weather is beautiful oh here's some cool uh, police girls here right here <laughs> it's cool so those girls actually can get arrested for um, sometimes the cops arrest them for being in those things and they say they're disturbing the peace being on the sidewalks. Um, so that's a bummer sometimes. You know, Vegas can be really cool, but it can also be really lame with some of the laws they have here. And one of them being like, escort agencies are legal, but prostitution is illegal, or it's illegal to feed pigeons, or it's illegal to be homeless. All those stupid laws here in Las Vegas. But. We love, we love and hate Vegas at the same time. <laughs> no, love and hate relationship going on here. I actually love Vegas, but I'm very upset with what they're doing. And some of these laws are ridiculous. And then there's like a new glass, a law on the glass bottles and stuff. Weird laws. They're just making it stricter and stricter. Okay, we're gonna head this way to see if we can find the Walgreens. There's a wall. Down, young, and this is not for you. I'm a jail, my DJ 
with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh, like I'm still a day old, and it's been like that since the day, yo. On more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Get down. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame, we on top, shout out, shout out, check it out. Check it out.